Khan claims that if you find an error, it's all in error. And that's Allah's claim. And there are contradictions in the Quran. But the Bible itself, to me that there's contradictions um, you cannot carry the burden of another and yet some will carry the burden of another. That's in the Quran. Sammy, will, it's in the Quran. We know there's different Qurans, but I'm there talking about whichever Quran you want to believe in, yeah. whether you believe in the Has, the Wash or the Dori, or all three of them, do they have a difference of narrative between Adam, Iblis and Allah? Your point about the contradiction between the books, I would, I would agree with you. Yes, there is a contradiction between the Bible and the Quran. And the main contradiction is that Jesus Christ was crucified and the Quran is the only book in history, really, that denies the crucifixion. Who raised Jesus back to life? It was God who raised him back to life. Zeus. Imagine this, God Almighty raising Another God of theirs, Jesus Christ, back to life. Can you imagine this? The resurrection, Jesus might have said that I lay down my life and I lifted that up again. That means he never died if he's going to lift his life again. I'm not going to go your level and insult you, inshallah, because I'm a Muslim. Yes, he's right. Muslims are superior. Why? Because Muslims, I, I tell you why. I tell you why. What I say. He said, I'm not going to insult you, but then he just said, I'm inferior. <laughs> Within 20 seconds, he contradicts himself. Destroy this temple and I will raise it up on the last day. It then, it then goes on to say, what do you mean he didn't die? It then, it, then, it, then, it, then, it then goes on to say that he was talking about the temple of his body. So you said God raises up Jesus. Jesus says, I raise up my own body. By your own logic, Jesus is God. Again, you are quite the Christian apologist. Yes, I am. Notice he interrupted. Did I interrupt Abbas? No. Did you just see him interrupt me? Yes. Do you know why, ladies and gentlemen? Because his dean has failed him. Okay, if we're going to interrupt each other, you boys can go have fun. Let me just finish my point right here. My point. Hold on, don't assume my gender. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You assumed our genders. Wow. Not very progressive. The penalty for those who wage war against Allah and the Messenger and strive upon earth corruption. I, I do find it funny that Ollie's initial excuse for not standing up against Christophobia, and I, I'd be interested to know if she believes it even exists, right across the Islamic world, is because she says, I'm a citizen of this country, and yet she's wearing a badge saying, Free Palestine. So she clearly is involved in political activism connected to other countries. If you do not talk about the problems, we will never able to address the issue to solve it. Get out of your Walt Disney version of history. Go and pick up a book, read the hagiographies, look at the Christian martyrs and how many Christians were killed because they wouldn't embrace Islam. This is what Allah also says. Yeah. He says, and it's prescribed for you to fight. And even if you don't want to fight, yeah. you will fight yeah. because Allah knows best. So how are you fighting only people who are attacking you when Allah says you will fight? So, what if you're living in the middle of a load of Muslims? Have you shocked. studied Arabic? Have you studied Arabic? It's not, it's not have, you studied no, 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 have you studied common sense? No, seriously, have you studied critical sense? reasoning? No, 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 no. Can you clarify something? Can you clarify something to this idiot? <laughs> yeah, this illiterate individual that's in speaker's corner trying to get fame. This man just claimed that you called me stupid. So I don't know. No, because you interrupted me so, so many. <laughs> so that was a yes, by the way. So let me that was a yes, by the way. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at you guys. None can change his words. So the Quran is identified as the word of Allah, the Torah is identified as the word of Allah, the Injil is identified as the word of Allah, and it says that none can change his word. You don't believe your Quran. It's clearly saying that the scriptures that the children of Israel had, they used to change it yeah, with their own hands and ascribe it to Allah. He's, he's wrong again. Listen to what the text says carefully. And there are among them unlettered people who know not the book. Now, if they don't know the book, that means the book is there to know. Perfect. But they trust upon false desires and book guess, then woe to those who write the book. So in other words, if you write a book after your own heart, woe to you. What the Quran is not saying is that the Torah and the Injil are lost. How the companion understood that verse? They know better than you and me. So I'm going to go to the Hadith. If you want a quote, I can, I can give you a quote. Sahih Bukhari, Allah has revealed to you that the people of the scriptures have changed with their own hands that was revealed to them and they have said as regards to their uh, changed scriptures this is from Allah Abbas quoted a hadith that was given hundreds of years later I'm not interested in his spurious hadiths 
that every time Christians quote hadiths to the Muslims that are Sahih but embarrassing to Muslims, the Muslims chuck them under the bus. When we point out that the hadiths demonstrate that the Quran has been changed, they chuck them under the bus. So I don't care, I don't care about their hadiths. Notice, where is Shamsi? Look at him, look at him. Come follow me now, come follow me now. Come follow me now. The Sahaba said to Muhammad, we're going to attack a village and babies and women and children will be killed. What do you think, Prophet? What did Muhammad say? They are from them. I don't care. They are polytheists. So let me ask him again. Here we go. Bukhari. Bukhari. Even better. Bukhari. Where is he running? Bukhari. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you see me, you see the father. I don't mean he looks like the father. No. Oh, he has the same attribute of the father. The nature, yes. That is incorrect because Jesus said he doesn't know the hour, only the father knows. Yes, because even the father, when he speaks to the martyrs whose blood cries out to him from beneath the altar, they say, when is our blood to be avenged? He says, when the convergence of these events has passed, then your blood will be avenged. Right. So, so the father is not saying 20 past seven on a Wednesday. He is saying, That's when this happens, wait, he's saying when this happens and that happens and that happens, then it's going to happen. <laughs> he says that I do not know the hour. This is a figurative speech according to uh, St. John Christotum, because if Jesus said this is going to be the last day, the disciples would not be focused. Jesus also said all the things that were going to happen before that day comes. And he also said that day will come like a thief in the night. So he didn't want to tell them the exact day Although we do have Christian heretics who say he's coming on this date. They tried to set a date. Christ, Christ said not to do that. Now, does Christ know all things? In the same gospel, you continue reading. At the end of John chapter 21, it says, Peter says to Jesus, we know that you do know all things. So when you marry these up, it makes perfect sense. It's figurative, not literal. Christ, according to John chapter 21, knows all things. Even if it proves to me individually that the Father is God and the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God, you still haven't proved that these three are one being. We heard a concession from Hashim. Did you all pay attention? Even if it proves to me individually that the Father is God and the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God, you still haven't proved that these three are one being. So he's admitting, he's admitting that the Bible does show that the Father is God and that the Bible does show that the Son is God and that the Bible does show that the Holy Spirit is God. Thank you, Hashim. This is what happens when you really study the Bible. Just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son. So that all may, and this is the key part, so that all may honour the Son just as they honour the Father. So we can honour our mothers and fathers, we can honour one another, and we can honour God. So in the same way? No, not in the same way. Why not? Why not? Not in the same way. But now you've helped me prove my point. He said, but not in the same way. And I agree. So listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said, so that all will honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. Honouring somebody. I honour my mother because I worship. I kiss a rock. I kiss my mum as well. He's just compared his mother to a rock in Mecca. Is that honouring your mother? You just compared a rock in Mecca to your mother. Can you honour Muhammad the same way you honour God? Listen, hear me, hear me out. Prophet Isa, Prophet Muhammad. And not what he says. Hear me out. Not what he says. Hassan just said to me. Only some of it's true, which is John 5:30. But notice what he said earlier. Yeah, I agree with what came before verse 13. So in one, so in one brief, he agrees with the rest of John 5. No, because but then when I read it to it him, no, let me speak. Then when I read to him John uh, chapter 5 in its context, suddenly he no longer agrees with it. Because it says something you didn't know and you didn't agree with. Zaki Knight, Lord. No, I no, no, it's not Zaki Knight. Listen to what Bart Ehrman said about the Quran. No scholar of ancient antiquity would ever consider the Quran as evidence about the life of Jesus. Do you agree? Is he expert on Do Quran? you agree? He, oh, he, oh, he doesn't agree. He goes on to say, but the fact that these two folios are, listen to the next bit, not identical does not identical sound like identical no! so are your Qurans the same no! 
You have been lied to! That is talking about the earliest fragment of your Quran ever found! Ever found! Game over! Jesus Christ is called the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. So if, according to Hashim, the one who is immortal is Lord of Lord and King of Kings, Jesus Christ is Lord of Lord and King of Kings, by Hashim's own logic, Jesus Christ is therefore immortal when you take into the Trinitarian perspective by virtue of the divine nature. Yeah, and we know that the Apostle Paul's writings are scripture because Peter, a direct disciple of Jesus Christ, who followed and walked with Jesus Christ, said in his epistles, said in his epistles, okay, that the Apostle Paul is a brother and that his writing is scripture. So the Apostle Peter affirmed the Apostle Paul and the Apostle Peter was a direct Direct disciple of Jesus Christ. I think it's I think it's wrong to say that you've got nothing. Why? Bro, just accept. No, you yeah. don't know what you're you doing. You've lost yeah, the yeah, debate. Yeah, yeah. And you've lost the debate because all you do is listen to Golden Sour Boy over there. Rather than actually study the Bible with Christian. Perfect. Quran says We're this, at this nature. day I have perfected right, your religion says, for you, completed my favour upon you, and have chosen <laughs> for you <laughs> and your religion. Uh, yeah. Tell me, <laughs> tell me <laughs> Ali, Unless what's Allah lying? Yeah, I don't bro. What's Allah lying? Champion of the Muslim. I brought my man through now. Bring him and sort of. Let me ask you a question. Oh, it's not. There you go. Dawa team, Muslims, there's your champion running from a debate. If you only took the Quran, you're right. If the, the Quran was the only thing, I have a video on this with Quran owners. If you only looked at the Quran, based on the verse in the Quran 65.4, it would be permissible to have sex with minors. Sir, hold in the narrative. It's married. Well, holes in the narrative. Tell me why there are holes in the narrative. Are you, are you, and how do you fix it? I know why she came here, ladies and gentlemen. Why, 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 why? I know, I know why. Why? No, no, I didn't. Everybody listen. Tell me about the holes in the narrative. Let me tell them. Let's hear about the holes in the narrative. It's kind of a bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not every day, but I have to wear a kind of vest like this. And you see, she's not being satisfied in her home. You are full of lustful as your prophet. Your girlfriend is here. Hey, Abu Bakr's daughter, Abu Bakr's daughter, her son was born from Muta, and I will bring the evidence. Abu Bakr, Aisha was born from Muta. No, no, no. Aisha was born from Muta, bro. No, no. Let me know. Asma. Bint Abu Bakr married Zubair, who's the cousin of Imam Ali and the cousin of the Prophet. She married him in Mut'a. Abdullah ibn Zubair was born from Mut'a. Exactly. If a child is eight years old at, at puberty and the parents say it's okay and she's mentally ready, would you marry her? No, I don't know. So you're, go, you're going against your religion then? No, I'm single. I don't want to be married. Do you condone, do you, do, do you condone Muhammad doing that? Do I condone Muhammad doing that? Okay, okay. Hello. 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 So if Allah in Surah chapter 33 verse number 56 is praying for Muhammad, oh, Allah is praying for him. Blessing. Blessing. Sunnah Allah is praying for him. Blessing. 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 Not praying. Don't lie. He's also confirmed by Muhammad Ijaz. Send him blessings. He's also confirmed by Muhammad Ijaz. Yeah, yeah. Why is she holding the picture of you? Holes in the narrative. Why is she holding the picture of you? She's just talking about your holes. Ah, yeah, that's picture of him. Looks very similar, isn't it? Both of them are freaked out from their book. Sir, explain it to the holes in the Explain it to me, horse in the narrative. Get lost, 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 get lost,
Mutter, 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 Mutter. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. You are lying. You're a liar. Bro, you're known for lying. If I show it, if I show, if I prove you wrong, you have to kiss my foot. Yeah? Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, you kiss my foot. That's your first position. You already kissed two girls in the TikTok live. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Muta, Muta exposed. Not a Muslim, are you a follower of Jesus? It's part of our religion. It's, huh? It's part of our religion. So you are not a follower of Jesus? Which one? You are not a follower of Jesus? You follow all the messengers. Who are you? Follow all the messengers. Including Jesus. Huh? Including Jesus. 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 You don't follow Jesus, you follow Isa, Isa of 7th century, who was created the by Muhammad. Who's got one in that? 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 We, Allah, shall assemble you, Israelites, all together in the land of Israel. Number Do you one. think that's wrong? Try it. Oh! But number one, because you are ignorant. Yeah, yeah, because you are at, at hominem. Any, any Muslim, so-called Muslim, that says, so that, says the that says the prophet's parents is a kafir, he himself is Who's a kafir. Pepper? I'm saying pagan. Whoever says that he himself is a kafir pagan. I myself, without huh? testicles, am a kafir. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> the prophet's parents were on the religion of Abraham. His granddad was on the religion of Abraham. They were on the religion of Abraham. Praise and worship. He was a wild donkey of a man. I am against God who commands his people to go and rip, rip open the belly of a pregnant woman. I am against a God who uh, who is agreed with didn't we, didn't we agree? Didn't we agree? Didn't we agree that you are stupid? Didn't we agree that you are stupid? And he will break, and then he will break the cross. Mohammed said you got to have him above your ankle. No, no, yeah, oh, no, no, not below your arm. No, 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 I've read that hadith, but that means about that hadith. Salam alaikum. Go away and do a little bit of research about the discrimination that Palestinians face by Israel because they're Palestinian and by the Palestinian authorities because they're Christian. Okay, so did that exist before Israel became a nation? Yes. Did it? Yes. So you're, you're yes. telling me... I'm going to... I'm going to... You're, you're, I'm, so you're do you want more me. info? No, no, no. I know the info here. Oh, wait. So you knew it was existed before? <laughs> Listen. Stop crying and then tell me about the whole thing the narrative. Stop crying and tell me about the whole thing the narrative. Muslim! Tell me about the whole thing the narrative. He says, yeah, put a picture in the picture to the hour. Tell me about the whole city yeah. narrative. Yeah. Tell me about the whole city yeah, yeah, narrative. Yeah. When ISIS was f***ing your mums and your sisters in the name of Jihad al Nikah, yeah, who was protecting your mum? Me and my fam, my people. Mama, who was protecting your sister? Mama, wait, wait, your mum was there. Whoa. What was ISIS Mama, doing? Mama, One second. Mama, what was ISIS Mama, doing? Mama, your mum your mom and sisters were by ISIS, oh who, oh who saved the Sunnis, the Shia from Iraq? Lying. They saved the Christians? The Christians had to pay taxes called the Jizya tax, okay. which was nothing but a protection racket that would mean that would mean <coughs> they're paying for their lives okay. and their property. Can we talk about Jizya then? Wait one second. Do you disagree? Do you condemn those practices? No. There you go. Did you see? He wants us to condemn Israel, but he won't condemn the discriminatory practices of Sharia law. Now, while he was flying in the air, the angel Gabriel said to uh, Allah said to the angel Gabriel, "Go down and save uh, Abraham." So Seems legit, everyone. I mean, I'm going to say the Shahada right now. Yeah. So the angel Gabriel, while Adam was in the air. Uh, he made uh, sorry Abraham while he was even in the other Muslims no, look bored. Even when he was in the air, uh, the angel Gabriel. Why are you running away from me? Can we not, can we not have a conversation? Can I tell your viewers. Um, yeah, of course. Sir. Firstly, yeah, um, you need to subscribe. Really don't, please and don't. That'll be the worst thing you ever do in your life. The channel is called. Of course, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter. As well as Facebook. Good. Oh, there he is. But he's, he's a cameraman now. He's a cameraman now. Mansour, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you do you condemn Mansour? Yeah. The Islamic invasion of Spain. Listen, listen, you need to move away from. No, no, no. Move away from. Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? I'm nowhere near him. I'm a far away. Mansour, do you condemn the Islamic invasion of Spain, Mansour? If you are not a Muslim, your husband will not do that to you. So why you care? Yeah. yeah. We are happy with we are happy with what you
Sorry, I got a mic. Aisha says I was six years old. Well, she didn't know she was six. She was playing with dolls, mate. Yes, the Hadith. They didn't have a calendar, so they didn't know it. Sorry, babe. They didn't know if anyone was old enough to get married. That's what you do. If Mohammed came up, if Mohammed came up to you and said, "Will you marry Aisha instead of me at age eight and then consummate a year a year later, would you do it? Uh, first of all. What you're saying is disgusting because you are... That's disgusting. You are saying disgusting things because you, you are... You just called your prophet you, disgusting. You, the way you... A paedophile is a person who has sustained sexual orientation towards children, generally under 13 or younger. Good night! Good night! Good night! What is his eye shot? Nine years old! Good night! Shush now. It's written on the gates of heaven. No, it's there not. Is God except Allah. There's Muhammad been no judgment day. No one knows what's written on the gate. His on successor. The gates. As if there's a physical The gate of gate. heaven. This is written. What Peter's graffiti? This is him. There is no God except Allah. Yeah, yeah, Jesus is in which language? Jesus in yeah. English. No English. What? What? Okay. What, what, what is the Hebrew? No. What is the Hebrew name? What, what is the Hebrew name of uh, my uh, Jesus? Isa. Isa. Yahushua. Yahushua. You don't know Arabic. Yahushua. Listen. The Quran says the crucifixion came in the time of the Egyptians, the pharaohs. That is a historical error. We know where crucifixion came from, and it wasn't Egypt. I'm not ignorant. Allah either gave it them or he didn't. This is, you have to see, you know, the reason of the revelation. I don't have to do that at all. Allah said until the end times, he's given it to them. Yeah, I'm stupid. Listen, listen. Everyone, it's a it's a new revelation you, coming you, through Omar. You're, you're the hypocrite. Hurry up in the bay, boom. Don't run him. Don't run him. You are coward. You are coward, bro. I, I, I think, I, I, I mean, everybody, everybody keeps telling me though that I should come and talk to Ali Dawa. Could, could you, could you tell, could you tell all your fanboys that they should stop encouraging me to talk to you? Could, could you say that to the camera? I think I'll give you an. Okay. I, I give you, give you an opportunity. Yeah. Please tell them. Tell them. I, I, I don't want to talk to you. But because they say they say that I need to come and speak to you because you're an expert. So now here I am talking to an expert. You're very, you're very dangerous guy. I don't want to talk to you. You know, I'm very scared of you. So have mercy on me this day, Sunday. You should be at church anyways. But you know, Jesus said, spread love. So leave me alone. I'm doing my thing. I'm sending the messages here. Life after life. Would you like one? No, oh, you thank gave, you. You gave me, you gave me a book last time. Yeah, I yeah, thank you very much. I'll keep that. So I'll keep that. Yeah. That's it. Let's leave it at that. I don't want to talk to you. And okay. I just want to do okay. So, so just, just for your information, because you, you obviously don't understand the Christian faith. We are the church. We don't go to church. That's the first thing. So you go to yourself. No, 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 no. We are the church. Are the church. That, that is actually. We go to temples. Um, and then we go to liturgy. But we are the church. So my, my, my question to you. I have a question. I don't want to talk no, Mike. Why, why, why are you afraid to answer? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So every one of those Jews or Christians is the savior of those Muslims. No, no, they're not. Right. So it's, now notice he didn't say it was unjust, which means that Muslims don't have an argument against Christ paying the sins, paying the debt of our sin. He said it wasn't unjust, which means that it's not unjust for God through Christ to pay the debt of our sin. So thank you for that. <laughs> he didn't see that coming. He didn't see that coming. I'm coming in here to talk to him. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Peace be. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.